I think it would be safe to say that my journey started at my house back in Raleigh, North Carolina, where I was a kid. I used to jump off of the couch. I used to, I was kind of a little dorky kid. I had Superman pajamas. I used to tie a bed sheet around my neck and jump around, jump around in the living room, save the world. Um, seven years old, I actually came home from school. I was outside jumping around playing. And later on that night, I started losing my vision. I didn't bump my head. I didn't do anything. I didn't have an accident or anything like that. And I told my mom and she had taken me to the doctor the next morning and they said that I had retina detachments in my eyes. So they had to have an emergency operation to fix that. And my vision was stabilized for about two or three weeks. And then the same problem happened, happened again and I had to have another operation. They fixed it, didn't work, had to have another operation, another operation, another operation. And after the 10th operation, they couldn't do anything else to help my sight. So I was kind of forced to live my life without being able to see. And over the next year, I think I was about nine years old. Over the next year, I just steadily lost vision each and every day to the point where I could only see lights and shadows. And so that was pretty tough. but. It got to the point where my mom and my family, they set me down and told me that I still could achieve anything that I wanted to. I just may have to do it in a different fashion. And along that time, I started getting my confidence back and went through middle school. And once I got into high school, one of my teachers had introduced me to long jump. And basically what long jump is, is you run and hit the board, jump into the sand. So since I couldn't see what was going on, he stood at the board and he would give me audible sounds. He would clap and yell straight and let me know which direction that I needed to run. And um, so all of those times of me jumping inside of my house and jumping off of the couch, jumping off the coffee table, I was able to take that and put it towards something uh, that wouldn't get me in trouble with my mom anymore. Um, and uh, just got to the point where I steadily practiced at it and next thing I know the year I graduated from high school I found myself at my first Paralympic Games in Athens and won my first silver medal. The one thing that I love about long jump is that I'm able to feel free and open and I don't have any restraints. I don't have anybody telling me that I can't do anything. And so to be able to initiate the, the run and then the jump, it just gives me a sense of fulfillment, a sense of worth. And it's, it's something that I've been practicing for a while. And, and so it, it just, it means a lot to me. And um, it's honestly something that Lex Gillette can say that I've done this.